Good morning guys. It's been quite a long time since I have done a video. Um, all the videos I did previously was either in my backyard or down in my cellar. Um, the reason I haven't done any more videos is because we're moving house. So I've rented a unit um, with quite a lot of me shit in um, and <coughs> somehow I've ended up with this um, it's a Yamaha R6 I my son pissed about tried to do a deal and it didn't work out and I ended up buying this bike to help him out sort of thing so it's been about two weeks since I've started it up and I just thought I'll do a video and so you guys still know I'm about. So anyway, uh, this R6 is a bit rough, it's a 1999 model on a V-Reg. Um, it's got a Micron exhaust but there's loads of little things, there's loads of bits and bats wrong with it like for instance, you know that shouldn't, well there's no rubber on it at all so it needs a rubber. Um, so I'm going to write down a list of things to do on it. There's, well, it needs like new casings. Um, the wheels need greasing, I think, you know, the bearings. The bodywork is shot. It's full of this shitty wiring that I need to sort out. And what that wiring is, it's for the indicators. There's a little LED there and a little LED there and I think somebody wanted to <coughs> see some sort of light flash for the indicators I don't know why they can't read that um, the ignition lock oh, that's, well I don't believe it's turning on now but you've, you've got to waggle it up and down to turn it on there's no rubbers there no bolts there uh, the battery's obviously off because I've had it on charge I've just put some petrol in it, so what I'll do is I'll start it up uh, and then I'll go through it a bit more. So I've now put the battery on, you'll have to bear with me because this, this is a new camcorder, um, not as good as my old one but my old one was lo losing quality so this is why I've got this one but the sound is shite on this one but anyway. Um, so I'll put the battery on let's see if it'll start it's absolutely it's stone cold towards that river because there's some residential buildings over there and I don't want to wake them up it's still quite early um, so right so as we can see the temperature is I don't know if you can see that it's low So this is this is what I mean by these indicators. See that there? And the other one's there. Actually the other one doesn't even work. Oh yeah, it is working. Oh. There look. So I'm gonna 
gonna take them out. I'm gonna take them stupid wires out, these here, you don't need them at all. I'll take them out. And then um, in fact I wonder if the indicators actually work. Alright. Oh, so the indicator doesn't even work. So little bits and stuff like that. Rusty bolts. There's rusty bolts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh this is broke as well, look, that, you can see that. So what I will be doing is taking the fairings off, trying to repair this, um, renewing bits, changing all the fluids, stuff like that, cleaning it up. And then we'll uh, see what it's like. These these mirrors are they just look stupid. I think they bend or something, they must be because they can't I don't know if they look like that or not, but anyway. So that's it guys. That is my latest project. So I'm going to do now is turn the camcorder off, leave it ticking over for 15 minutes, get up to temperature whilst I'm writing down what I need to do with it. So keep tuned in. Okay we have a problem. Um, the bike has warmed up. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that but it says 86 and it stinks like it hasn't been warmed up for that to that high that temperature for ages um, but what's happening is it cut out it's not starting so let me give it a bit of rev So it's cutting out when it's warm and if I try and bang it in gear it cuts out. So there's obviously a problem when it gets warm. Right, so note to self, don't get bike fucking warmed up. No problem. Right, so what I need to do then is work out why it's first of all stalling when it gets warm and secondly why it won't go into gear when it gets warm. So anyway, so the wheels I'm gonna give them a I'm gonna give them a sand down or something, get rid of this stupid fucking sticker, whatever it is. Uh, and then just give them a light coat of black paint or something. I'm going to get a new wheel on. Jesus, them discs are knackered. Um, I'm going to do the same with the front. Polish the front. Them discs are alright, but the pads are shit. I'm going to clean the forks up. Probably renew the seals, something like that. Um, I'm going to strip the... I'm going to take the swinging arm out, give it a grease, it probably hasn't been greased in its life. Take the belly pan off, do the same with that. It's going to have a new back tyre. 
all that's going to be cleaned up. <sighs> I didn't even want this bike, but never mind. I've got it, so it will be roadworthy because there's no MOT on it at all at the moment. There's no way to pass the MOT. So I shall give it a go. Right, guys, I'm definitely signing off now, and I will see you shortly. Bye.